Good morning, Poke fans. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and we are continuing our climb through the Master Brawl tier ladder to hit the top 10,000 of players using a team that we built from scratch. It's pretty incredible that we were able to get six games in yesterday. Me not even really knowing that I did six games, but one of them was considered a, a disqualifier. Um, disconnection so i guess you guys got the real matches but i, I ended up with one more <laughs> so before we start off today i just want to say thank you for everything that you guys have done so far we are currently sitting at 358 subscribers for the month of july we are very close to our 400 sub goal by the end of the month and we are two what was it two fourths i don't know I don't want to say half, we're almost half, but <laughs> we're, we're uh, about 642 away from our end of the year goal. So that's the one that's an amazing number. It's huge, but I know that we could do it and we can do it with your guys' help. So I appreciate everything that you guys are willing to do. So there is that. And I don't really have anything. I didn't do any changes to the team. We're taking our time and planning out our moves more frequently. So if I don't talk during the planning stuff, it's probably because of the fact that I'm thinking and I'm trying to say something as I'm thinking. It may not always work out that way, but that's what I'm trying to do. But nevertheless, I want to thank you guys for everything that you've done so far. The growth has been amazing and I'm hoping we can continue with the momentum that we have to go for the rest of the month and even the year. I am super excited. So please continue to give me your support by doing all the YouTube things, which is liking, commenting and subscribing. They all help out as much as possible. Now we are going to do only four matches today because I did one extra yesterday and like I like having even numbers to all my stuff. So let's get to it. I've got nothing else. Wish us luck. Let's get into our first match of the day. All right. And our next match is ready to go. And we got, oh my God, we got a lone muck. Let's go. All right. We got muck, that thing I can't remember. Cresselia, Slowbro, Sylveon, and Mousehold. I think that second thing is like Scoville or something like that. I'm not a hundred percent of what it is, but you know, eh? <laughs> Maybe someone has found out a code for it to be usable. But other than that, I don't really know what this team is for. It's really weird like i i get the uh hint of like trick room but i don't know i mean chrysalia could use it but slow bro what is he gonna do i mean he has chilling reception which anyone else like ice I, i'm not sure uh we're gonna go ahead and get kind of set up to deal with some of these guys um we're gonna bring in tornadus reggie not reggie like it but fluttermane uh urshifu and chien pal i think i think that's what we're gonna bring in i probably should have brought in someone that's gonna be able to deal with mouse hold on their side of the field i mean chien pal will be able to do that for sure but i don't know anyone else really All right, Scovellian, that's that's his name. All right, so we've got Protosynthesis going off thanks to the booster energy, and they brought Scovellian and Muck. Let's see, um, apparently, oh, Scovellian's weak against whatever this is, uh, but I need to taunt someone first. Uh, I'm gonna taunt the Muck. And I'm going to imprison because I don't know what it's going to do. Taunt does not affect my... Oh, is he dark? Oh, interesting. I'm going to imprison. Okay, Scovillian does Will-O-Wisp, which burns. Fluttermane. Okay. Minimize. That's kind of what I wanted to prevent it to prevent, but if he's dark, he's dark. I can't do anything about it. That raises the, his evasion. Oh, and Scobillion's moody. All right. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just do that and uh, moon blast. Oh, we'll shadow ball. We should have moon blasted the muck, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just take out the Scovillian. I don't really know what he's going to do, and with the minimize from Muck, it might be a little hard to hit him. 
So I'm just gonna get the field set up for Bleakwind. Here it goes. Hits both. Down goes Scovillian. Mock being a dark type, huh? Power of Alchemy. Oh, he took over Moody. Okay. Leftovers, huh? No, not leftovers, but um, Black Sledge. All right. All right. Moody now kicks in. Lower speed, but races special attack. Okay. Here comes Mousehold now. And we could taunt the mouse hold because we know what it's going to do. And I'm going to moon blast the, the mutt and see if we can hit it. Now he's got plus four in evasion. Mouse hold follows me. That's totally fine. Taunt will now make it so I can do that next turn. And I'm going to moon blast mouse hold. So he's probably got um, friend guard. And Minimize is now plus six. Interesting. Now it's just going to be really, really hard to hit that Pokemon. That's all. Special Defense rose and Special Attack uh, went down. Okay, and we're just going to... Moonblast into Mousehold, because I don't want him hitting anybody. I wonder if his alchemy ability is going to take Friend Guard or Technician. It probably only activates once, right? Yeah, it looks like it only activates once. Alright. He avoided the attack. He uses Substitute. That's cool. I mean, Flower Man's just not going to take any damage. Moody. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. And Cresselia. Taunt the Cresselia. Actually, we're just gonna go ahead. Yeah, talk to Cresselia. We don't want Lunar Blessing. And Shadow Ball the Cresselia. Muck protected. This is a very interesting battle. We now know what all four of their Pokemon are. We've went through most of them. Taunt goes to Cresselia. No Mental Herb. Shadow Ball. We'll hit it to about half. Cannot use Lunar Blessing. So now that I can't use Lunar Blessing, I'm not going to worry about it. Now I can only attack, and hopefully it doesn't have Shadow Ball or uh, Moonblast. So I'm just going to Rain Dance and Shadow Ball into Cresselia again. And down goes Cresselia. Knock off. It's Fluttermane. Okay. I'm okay with that. Moody. Okay. We'll bring in our Shifu. Do 
do Bleak Wind, and we will Terra Water Searching Strikes on the on the Muck. That's what we'll do. Surgeon strike, so hopefully pop the sash and maybe hit it. So three crit attack, so hopefully. Bleak wind. Will hit the sub. Will it break? Does not, and search and strikes miss. Knock off. So Urshifu does a lot of damage. Takes off Urshifu's Mystic Water. Moody again. Bleak Wind. And we'll go again. Bleak Wind now hits again. Break the sub. And we did. Neat. Now, Urshifu, hit him. There we go. One. A two. And three. Boom. Swept this team. Three and oh. That's pretty good. I, I was hoping that Fluttermane would have survived, but Knockoff did too much damage. Alrighty, next match is ready to go. We've got Hisuian Gudra, uh, Grimmsnarl, uh, Incarn- Nope, Therian, Landris. Wow, forgetting everything. Uh, Rillaboom, Heatran, and Urshifu. We don't know if it's Single Strike or Rapid Strike, but we will see here in just a minute. Okay, so. How do we deal with this? We do have Rillaboom on that side of the table. So we're gonna need to do Tornadus and uh, Chien Pao. We'll bring in Garchomp. And for the Grim Snarl, we could bring in uh, Fluttermane, but oh, he's only the one, so it's probably not a good idea. I think we'll bring in Urshifu. I think that's how we'll deal with this team. I think that's how we'll do it. So what should we do now? Who are they gonna select? Who are they gonna bring? Who are they going to summon? All right. We've got Grimmsnarl and Hisuian Gudra. So I can't taunt the uh, Grimmsnarl, but I can taunt the Gudra. Um, do I swap? I mean, it wouldn't make sense. But I think I'm just gonna go straight for the Sacred Sword to the Gud for the um, Gr uh, Gudra, not Grimmsnarl, not Grimmsnarl, Gudra. Gudra's gonna take a lot of damage, especially if I'm gonna taunt him immediately. They don't get access to shelter. They will have access to leftover still, and maybe the assault vest if uh, players go with that. I mean, he's one tanky Pokemon, so we have to be really, really careful. They're gonna Terra, and it's gonna be for the Gudra to remove the type advantage. So it's gonna be a uh, fairy. So now it's just neutral. Fake out. We'll hit the Tornadus. Haha, <laughs> taunt. Gudra will fall for the taunt. Sacred Sword into the Gudra slot. Doesn't do as much damage as I thought, but only because of the fact. Oh, it's got Rocky Helmet. Okay. And it cannot shelter now. Okay. We're going to do Bleak Wind now, and I'm going to. I can't Terra. I'm going to Ice Spinner into the, actually, I need to get, um, what do I do? That's a good question. I don't, 
I think we keep him in. We're gonna ice spinner the Gudra. Light screen goes up. Special moves go down. Too bad mines are physical. Dropping him less than half. Hit again by Rocky Helmet. Bleak Wind now hits both. Does a, a, a good amount. Body Press will go into the Chain Pal, which is going to break his... Or knock him out. His Sash was already broken thanks to uh, Rocky Helmet. But that was what I was afraid of. I was going to swap to Garchomp to maybe save him a little bit, Terra, and then hit that Gudra really, really hard. But it's not going to make a lot of difference if I can't uh, get past it somehow. We're going to Tailwind, Terra Steel into Gudra to Terra Blast it. And this should be the last turn for Taunt. So Gudra has been officially shut down because it cannot um, get any of its bonuses from Shelter. Otherwise, it would have gotten a huge momentous bonus from uh, Body Press. They're going to retreat, which is good. And they're going to send out Landorus. No Rillaboom. I mean, that was a good call. For sure, it was a good call. But I'm going to Terra now. In my opinion, I probably would have let uh, Gudra fall. It's less than half HP at this point. It's Terra was a good call, but I would have let it just drop. To be honest. Tailwind. Um, are you going to do the other screen grims now? Nope, Parting Shot, which is going to lower my attack and special attack one stage. And they go back, and are you going to resummon Gudra? Again, it would not be a Pokemon, it would not be an option that I would pick. Nope, they did bring out Landris. Which is going to knock my Garchomp state uh, attack two stages. Terra Blast is going to go right into that Rillaboom slot. Which at minus two isn't going to do a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. Garchomp will now heal up. Bleak Wind, and I'm going to Protect. I can't do anything to Landris, and I'm currently weak against most, if not all, of Landris' attacks, especially if they are uh, ground attacks. So there's that. And I need to make sure that I don't get faked out by Rillaboom, because that's going to happen. He knows. Nope, oh, there's a fake out into that slot. He knows that it doesn't affect Tornadus. He tried it before. Bleak Wind. Will hit both. Doesn't knock out... Uh, Rillaboom, but gets really close. Rillaboom will heal due to Citrus Berry. Yep. And we lower down Lander's speed by one. Stomping Tantrum, which now means that the next move that it uses is going to be higher. So I'm going to Break Wind again, and I'm going to Terra Blast. Yeah, Terra Blast into the Landers to knock it out. That's my hope right now. I need to be able to knock out that Landers because st uh, Stomping Tamper is going to do a lot. Brings Rillaboom down to just one HP, lowering Landers speed again. Terra Blast into that slot. Hopefully it does a lot of damage so that maybe Garchomp will survive. It does not because he's minus two. Oh, taunt against um, Tornadus. That's cool. And Landris, Stompy Tantrum was just going to knock out Garchomp now. It does not. He lives with 15 HP, but Rocky, but the <laughs> rough skin does a lot of damage. Oh my Jesus. Okay. So now Bleak Wind again, and we will protect because Garchomp needs more HP. Oh my jesus let's go come on come on give this to us i thought garchomp was gonna lose there but he does not he stands tall landris got nothing and landris might have avoided it i'm not sure he did not it was the Rillaboom boom that did and i dropped landris speed one more stage let's go u-turn on tornadus 
So Rillaboom goes back. And the only Pokemon he has back there is uh, his Sweean Gudra, and I attack before it. Sloppy Tantrum doesn't do anything because Garchomp is protected. So he is fine. I do not like the camera angle though. Okay, my Tailwind's gone, but that's okay. I don't really need it at the moment. But I'm gonna Terra Blast into that slot over. Or Terra Blast into in the Gudra. Bleak Wind hits both, knocks out Torn uh knocks out Landorus, so I have nothing to fear now. I think I drop someone's speed again. I'm not sure which one, but here comes Terra Blast right into the Hisui and Gudra. There you go, have some. And I might have knocked out my own Garchomp. Might have, I don't think so, but I might have. I did not, he still hits, stays strong, and he will stay strong. Grassy Field disappears, and now he's only left with the Rillaboom. Rillaboom who has very little HP left. I think this is the... Oh no, he still has a fourth! Oh, I thought I knocked you out. Oh, interesting. Okay. Bleak Wind again, and I'm just gonna start off with the Protect. I thought I had knocked out his Pokemon, but no, he swapped out. That's still okay. That's still okay, though. This battle is really, really good. Garchomp will protect. Fake out goes over to Tornadus, does nothing. Bleak Wind Storm will knock out Rillaboom, brings Grimmsnarl down, uh, down to half. Probably like 51%. Garchomp will now rec uh, recover HP, and so will Grimmsnarl. And Tornadus shook off the taunt. Um. Yeah, why not? Bleak Wind, and then we'll just Terra Blast into Grimmsnarl. Battle is canceled. We won, guys! Let's go! That fight was hard. That fight was so hard. Next fight, we've got Fluttermane, Chiyu, Furagraph, Iron Hands, Cresselia, and Ursa, uh, Ursulina. Okay, obviously, this is a Trick Room team with speed variants on top of it. So it does multiple different things. We've got Furagraph, who uh, not, who completely removes uh, priority moves being used against them and uses Ally Switch. Fluttermane for the times where Trick Room doesn't work. Cresselia and Ursulina and Iron Hands. Those three specifically are used for Trick Room. Now, Furgraph could also take advantage of that, right? Could also take a very good advantage of that. It is incredibly slow, while Fluttermane and Chiyu are the faster Pokemon. So, what we need to do is Tornadus, Fluttermane, uh, Garchomp, and Chien Pao. We're bringing in these four so that we can deal with the rest of the team. I would bring in Urshifu to bring in um, to deal with uh, Chi Yu, but Garchomp also deals with Chi Yu and will also deal with uh, with Fluttermane. We'll also deal with um, Ursaluna and Iron Hands as well. Won't really touch Furigraph or Cresselia that much, but it will at least be able to deal with the majority of my opponent's uh, Pokemon. Oh, let's see how this match goes. So far, we're 2 0. Fluttermane and Chiyu starts off with the faster Pokemon. Special defenses drop for everybody. I get Protosynthesis, thanks to the booster energy, and my speed was heightened. I'm going to Rain Dance so that I go. Is that what? Well, I'm faster than that Fluttermane anyway. Yeah, Shadow Ball into that slot. I'm 307 speed. And... We will... See what they do. They decide to Terra. Probably the Fluttermane. It's not, the Chi Yu gets... Uh, and it becomes grass. 
Why? What? I'm gonna rain dance. Are they like setting up for a next turn or something? Shadow Ball goes right into that Fluttermane. And we'll get it down to its sash. Shadow Ball will now go into my Fluttermane. We'll knock it out. Because I do not survive that long. And Chi Yu will use Heat Wave. And Tornadus avoids it. Probably thanks to the rain. Okay, I'm probably... No, I'll bring in Chi and Pal. Chi and Pal is fine. Absolutely. I was like, oh, who do I bring out? Chi and Pal or Fluttermane, whichever one. And I'm like, wait, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to hit these two Pokemon really, really, really hard. With any attack that I decide to use, so I'm good. Chi Yu moved last. I moved first. I don't know if they have 205 speed or if it's something different. Uh, they withdrew Chi Yu, which is good. That's the good play there. Ferrigraph comes out next. Hopefully to stop the Sucker Punch. Moonblast will go right into the Qian Pao. So that's interesting. He is faster, so I will have to use Tailwind next turn. Ice Spinner will now go into Furigraph. Drops it to half. A little more than half. Bleak Wind will then... Oh! Almost knock out both. It will take out the Fluttermane for sure, but it does not But it does not knock out Furigraph. And Furigraph will recover using Leftovers. Interesting. Iron Hands now comes out for their side of the field. Tornadus will now use Tailwind. And I will protect with Chien Pao because it's only got 10 or 1 HP left. And it can, it can uh, fake out. Absolutely fake out. But it's not going to fake out the person that think it's going to fake out. It's not going to really do anything to Chien Pao or Tornadus. So we'll see what they do. Tailwind goes off by Tornadus. No fake out was used. So Drain Punch, Wild Charge goes over to Tornadus, which is unfortunately going to knock him out. And are you going to activate Trick Room or are you just going to stand there? You activate Reflect. Okay. And lower its uh, defenses to physical moves. Totally fine with that. Now we'll bring out Garchomp. Since Tailwind was used, I don't have to worry about that. Garchomp will go ahead and use Earthquake. And I will Terra. And Ice Spinner into Furgraph. It can't use Fake Out anymore. And Wild Charge cannot hit uh, Garchomp. I know the better strategy is to Terra Garchomp to Steel so that I don't get hit, but I think Steel is weak against fighting attacks, and if I would have Terra into Steel, Drain Punch would have knocked out Garchomp immediately, and I'm just eliminating the resources of not being able to do my spread moves. So Ice Spinner will now hit Furigraph for a lot, knocking him out. Even with Reflect, and here comes the Earthquake, which is only going to hit one Pokemon, so... Goodbye. Uh, it does not kill uh, Iron Hands, but gets pretty close. Ice Punch. Oh, times four. Ugh. Rough Skin. Do you knock him out? Do you knock him out? He probably doesn't. Please do it. Please do it. It did not. Dang it. That would have been so dope. Out comes Chi Yu. And. Yeah, why not? Well, Ice Spinner the Chi Yu. Um, Iron Hands got this. Without that Reflect, that would have knocked him out. But unfortunately, uh, 
We didn't do it. Chiyu goes down. We almost got this match, guys. It literally came down to the wire. Only thing he could do now is miss. I don't think he's going to. Ice punch? Nope. <laughs> That's like 100%. That ain't gonna miss nothing. You know, honestly, maybe protect would have been better, but... I probably would have still been in the same spot because, uh... No. I would have won if I hit um, Iron Hands and not Frigraph. All right, guys. It's our final match of the day. We've got Indity, Urshifu, Halucha, uh, Armourouge, Heatran, and Fluttermane. A very wide assortment of Pokemon that we will have to deal with now. So the question becomes, are they going to try to set up for Trick Room or are they going to set up for something else? Well, I don't know. It wouldn't be beneficial for them to do Trick Room because Halucha, if it has Unburden, will get a huge benefit and bonus for it using its item, which means Trick Room would not be at any type of benefit to them whatsoever. However, with that being said, that doesn't mean that it's not still a strategy that they could use. They'll probably be using Expanding Force throughout their uh, their kit. So what I need to do is plan for that. So Tornadus and Fluttermane with Chien Pao. And we're going to mix it with, I think Garchomp is going to be the best one. Yeah, Garchomp. We don't want to bring in Regieleki because we'll have to use the Terra for him. And he's not, he's not like a, a checkmate Pokemon. Like he's really good by himself, but for our Terra, maybe not so much. So we want to try to limit our use of, of uh, his skills. All right, Halucha Indity. It's going to shut down priority. For anyone that touches the ground, so even for uh, Fluttermane. Psychic Seed will go off for Halucha. And Booster Energy will go off for Fluttermane. Which means that we we got we guessed this. Uh, we're going to taunt the Entity and we're going to Moonblast the Halucha. Now, Indity's follow me is going to go off first, so I'm not going to really hit the Halucha, but Halucha can't hit me with a lot of his moves. They're going to Terra, and it's going to be Steel. Yep. All right. So now Moonblast isn't going to do anything to him, but that's totally fine. Follow me will go off. Taunt. Oh, can't because Psychic Terrain. That's, that's fair. Uh, Sword Stance will go off for Hulicha, who is faster now. Because of Unburden. Here comes Moonblast to the Entity. Okay, so since, since that is the case, we will Tailwind here and... Moonblast the Entity again. It's the only thing I can really do. Even with no item, he outspeeds Fluttermane. But now, no longer. Uh, two attacks go right into Entity, knocking him out. Acrobatics now knocks out Fluttermane. Now is the, the problem. We're going to bring out Garchomp. And who is going to be your next Pokemon? Urshifu. Gotcha. And it is Rapid Strike. Gotcha. So, we're going to go ahead and Bleak Wind for our guy Terra Earthquake. Terra Steel so that Acrobatics doesn't knock out Garchomp. It, he's probably going to still be faster just because Garchomp's not fast. I, I really need to create a um, a team book in Notion. Halucha will detect. It's a good call. Bleak Wind will miss Halucha, but will hit the Urshifu. Will. Knocking him out. Thanks for playing. 
and will not do anything to the Hula Chick because he detected. I, I need to create a page on Notion so that I can have their stats uh, used. Heat Ran is next. And Heat Ran is going to do a lot of damage, so we're going to set up Rain. And we're going to go ahead and do Earthquakes for days. Now with the Rain, we should lower Heat Ran's attacks considerably, if especially if any of them are fire. I think it even drops their, um, their damage by half. Oh, double knockout. Heat Ran and Halucha is out of here. Nice try, my man. Nice try. I defeated Noah. Right on. Let's go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will end our battles for today. We're only going to do four so that we can have an even of uh, 100 battles in. And we are looking really, really good. Let me go ahead and just update the uh, percentage here. We are currently at 47%, which is higher than last season, which is great. We are currently 47 and 53. But most importantly, 100 battles are officially down and we still have plenty more to go. We'll have 5, 10, 15, 20. 20, 25 more fights before the month is over. So that's dope. Hope you guys are excited to, for 25 more fights. And then if you guys want to see like the 20 fights like I did last uh, season, just let me know down in the comments down below and I will put them up there for you. It's going to take a while to render out and upload them, but you guys will have them probably that's the following Sunday. Probably. Depends on if you guys want them or not. Anyways, so with that being said, that's it. That's the end of the video. I'm sorry to end it for you guys, but that's, that's all I've got, uh, at least for now. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, more Pokemon fun and more matches so that we can hit our goal of sub 10,000 people. Now, don't forget to do the YouTube things by liking the video. If you liked it, dislike it. If you didn't, leave a comment down below. I do read and reply to any and all comments that you guys leave behind and subscribe. Definitely helps out the channel quite a bit. Like I said, we're trying to hit 400 subs by the end of the month and a thousand by the end of the year. And I believe we can do it with your guys' help. And you can hit the bell if you want. Uh, my Uncle Mike says that it helps out the channel quite a bit. So prove him right by hitting that bell and put all notifications to all. And that's it. That's all that I've got. Happy Tuesday again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And till then, have a great day. See ya.